All right, I'm going to show you how to print out your photo with a grid overlay on it. So the first thing you're going to have to do is open up Adobe Photoshop Elements, which is a blue icon. You can see it over on the left-hand side here. Once it opens up, you get the choice of Organize, Edit, Create, and Share. You're going to choose Edit because we are editing an existing photo. Give it a second to open up. It's a pretty big program. And once it's open, it'll look something like this. Now you need to find and open up your photograph. If you've sent your photo to me ahead of time, I would have put it in Student Shares network folder, but if you have it on a flash drive or in your Google Drive, you'll need to go get that um, first on your own. But you go to File Open because you're going to open it in the program. And then I'm going to find Student Shares. I'm going to find Art because this is art class, 8th grade art because we're in 8th grade. And then I'm going to go into this folder called Selfies because that's where I put your files if you gave them to me. So I'm going to select my picture, and I'm going to hit open. Ta-da! There I am. Now, I need to open another file, which is the file with the grid. So I'm going to again go into File Open, but not in the Selfie folder. I'm going to look in the, other, the rest of the 8th grade art folder, still in the Student Shares folder, and you'll see that there's a grid overlay that's landscape and a grid overlay that's portrait style. Now that has to do with which way your photo is oriented. Now my photo is portrait oriented, it's up and down, it's vertical, so I'm going to open up the portrait style grid overlay. And so you can see it's very long and thin and that's okay, we're going to make that work. Now before I do any work on my photo here, I need to decide if I want to crop it at all because we know that the closer the printout, the closer, the closer your image is to your face, the larger the face detail will be and the easier it is to um, pixelate that or grid that. So if I want to take my photo and I want to crop some of that extra background stuff out, I could even bring it down and get closer to my face if I wanted to. Um, I'm going to leave mine somewhere like this. So I'm going to use the crop tool, by the way, it looks like a little picture frame. You draw the box around it and then you hit the green check mark. Now my picture is how I want it to be and I have my special grid overlay. I'm going to go to this little tool, it looks like a plus, that's just your select and move tool. So I'm going to click on it, I'm going to click on my picture and I'm going to drag my picture over to the grid and then let go. You see my picture is real teeny, but that's okay. I'm going to drag it up into the corner. I'm going to take the corner of my picture and I'm going to click on it and move it. But it's not moving right now. All right, give it a second. There we go. And I'm going to slide it just till it's on the other side there. And you can see my picture looks really pixely, but that's just a Photoshop effect until you say yes. So you commit that. There you go. See, it's fine. Now, at this point, I don't need my original picture anymore. I can get rid of that. So I just have this file. Now, there's a problem because my photo is on top of my grid. And if you look over on the right-hand side of your screen, these are your layers basically meaning how you stack to your images. So you can see my photo layer is on top of the grid layer. That's not what I want. I want the grid on top. So I'm going to click to activate that grid layer, and then I'm going to slide it above mine, and then look, the grid has shown up on top of my face. That is exactly what you want to happen. Now I'm going to go to the crop tool again, start in the corner, and I'm going to crop just my picture so that I remove that extra bit of grid down there. At this point, don't crop the actual photo. Always keep the entire size because you should have pre-cropped it because you'll mess up your grid. So it's okay to chop off a little bit at the top or the bottom, but you don't want to remove anything side to side. So I hit this, and then there's my photo, all completely gridded, and I'm ready to print. Now, the way to print is you go to File, Print, but you need to make sure that you've checked this box that says Scale to Fit Media. Look how it makes my picture now fit the paper. See, too big? Just right. Then you want to make sure that you are indeed printing to the art room, which um, all of the laptops should be already um, default to that. And then you can go ahead and hit print, print, and OK. And then hopefully your page should come out of the printer, and you're going to want to save your work just so that if you lose, you need a new one, you can. Go to File, Save As say okay. And you don't want to save to student shares, you want to save to your documents or to your pictures. So double click in there so you're saving to the right place and then call it something like Lieben Grid. Save. 
and then you've got it in case you need to reprint another one, you lose your original, whatever. It's there and it's safe. All right, your turn.